for today. I'm obviously vlogging with you guys again. This is gonna be very fitness Friday themed. I actually filmed a workout earlier this week as well. I did, actually that would have been last week. It's currently Wednesday, so it was about a week ago. About a week ago. I filmed my lower body workout with you guys. Just been like so inspired by I don't know, my personal life has been very like health and wellness related and work related. Like those are like the two main focuses I feel like I've been kind of working towards. I guess I'm just like kind of curious, you know, what it would be like to be at my most optimal health and just like listen to my body, let it rest when it needs to rest, give it sleep when it needs to sleep, which I also need to do because the last two nights, which is just like a whole other topic, I've just been like so excited about life that I have not been able to fall asleep. So curious as to what like my quality of life would be like if I were to, give myself the chance to just like be optimally healthy and balanced. I made it so that it was like a three week challenge until December 11th, so it's not technically three full weeks, it'll be three weeks next Tuesday. Today is a running day, my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna try and skip this intro really quick, but today's gonna be a running day, which if you guys wanna see like more of my stretching and like my running routine, definitely let me know, because I can make that into a full video. The speed, the incline, like my pre and post stretch that I actually do on the treadmill and stuff, because as much as I love strength training, running will always just be like my number one. It's like therapy. But I did film that workout last week, so let me show you guys really quick my lower body workout, which will actually be my workout for tomorrow. Did I say today was Thursday? It's Wednesday. But while I go for a run, let me recap you on my fitness diary from last Thursday. Morning. We're about to head to the gym. Figured instead of even asking you guys if you'd want me to film it, I would just bring my camera to the gym and film it anyways. A big, it's a big booty day. We're gonna grow my non-existent butt, or at least we're gonna try to, and uh, get some squats in. I feel like it's a good tester for me to get used to filming in front of, you know? Really quick, I'll give you guys a gym outfit of the day. So this shirt is from Lululemon. This, if you guys watched the BC vlogs from back in the day, they gave this to me when I was in Vancouver. They also gifted these leggings. The thing I love about them is that they have pockets. So especially when I'm running outside, these are the kinds of leggings I like to wear so that I can put my phone here and that I don't have to wear like an armband or anything. And then the shoes are just these Nikes. They're white. They're like one of the free run. And as per usual, the same hat. That's my gym outfit of the day. I picked a very awkward spot to show you guys that. Grab my keys and we'll start working on our booty.
little post-workout smoothie. If you guys want to know the chocolate banana smoothie that I drink after my workouts, then I ended up posting the recipe into a what I eat in a day, which I will link up on the screen or down below. Yep. For my little workout gym outfit of the day, I'm wearing this speckled sports bra that is obviously from Nike. Don't ask me why, but purple just seems like such a December, I don't know, lagging. Also, don't look at my feet, they're hideous right now. And then I'm just throwing on, actually, as we speak, this white t-shirt. If you don't really have like your focus of the day or your focus of the run, I guess, before you start, I feel like it's actually really hard sometimes to kind of stay in the game and like I'll start noticing like, ooh, my shirt kind of feels uncomfortable. You kind of hyper focus on those things. And so in Girl Wash Your Face, she talks about when she runs, she does these things called cardio fantasies. And it's really funny because I feel like I've actually been doing that but just didn't have a word for it so that's part of the reason why I love to run so much is kind of like going for it and it frees up my headspace to kind of think about things that I want to think about and based on what I'm thinking about will make or break how good of a run I have I'm running and I'm thinking about things I'm excited about and I picture myself in Paris I picture myself on a beach I picture myself writing catcher two and like holding it up in my hand I picture what my closet's gonna look like I picture what my wedding will look like I picture what my kids are gonna look like like I just think about life in that sense I get to be as dreamy Dreamy as I want, which is, as a Pisces, I mean, my dream. The gym tends to fill up, so I'm gonna hope and pray, because all of our treadmills are pretty much broken, that there's gonna be. Whew. I am such a hot, sweaty mess, wow. I'm really grossly sweaty, so realistically I should shower, don't judge me. Just a cup of minute oats with sun ripened harvest peaches, they're all sliced up, and then I just put like all the milk and cinnamon. This is what it ends up looking like. And then to add just a little bit more fiber and healthy fats, I'm gonna add some black chia seeds to my oatmeal. Voila. Okay, my face gets really, really red when I work out, by the way. I actually looked it up. Apparently, it's a very common thing for females. My run today was five kilometers, and I did it in 25 minutes and 13 seconds. I'm actually slower on the treadmill, funny enough. It's funny, because last Fitness Friday, it was grocery day, and this Fitness Friday that I'm filming today, I'm actually getting my groceries again. Um, I ordered my groceries in last night. I got a few extra things this time that I'm really excited to play with. The sweet potato rice was amazing, by the way. So I'm excited for my groceries to get here so I can like start playing around with some different meals this week or at least for the rest of the week. And then this weekend, I'm super excited because so Thursday night, Larissa and I are going to the Christmas market. And then Saturday, we have tarot readings at the rock store with Jane again. I haven't been to see Jane since like February. I'm gonna ask her if I can either record or film my tarot reading for you guys. I'm really anticipating what she's gonna say this time around only because I mean the thing with tarot is a lot of the times people that do tarot readings are just extremely intuitive when I saw her last time she was so on the money with everything that was going on with my life at that point that I'm curious to know like what she's gonna say this time around because my life is so different anyway I'm gonna finish my breakfast shower get some work done and I'll pop back with you guys when it's lunchtime okay so this is my before I'll show you guys my fridge these are kind of like the drawers that I use um, this is empty and now this is after this is like the tofu I need to use up um, but I got spinach got some sweet potato rice that I was telling you guys about some organic tofu back there um, blueberries tomatoes greens herbs and then just a ton of vegetables like broccoli cucumber grabbed mushrooms back there some coffee creamer for the weekend as per usual um, also grabbed sesame seeds for my bowls and then over here, I ended up picking up some chickpeas. I picked up a new jar of peanut butter. Um, I'm making oatmeal bowls, but also for smoothies. And then this has been like the snack I picked up. These natural delights, they're like almond covered date rolls. These things are so freaking good. Yeah, I didn't end up picking up any rice and quinoa, but I'm probably gonna need to pick those up next round. Potatoes, and I'm cooking up these two sweet potatoes now. I don't know if I'm gonna eat them for dinner or for lunch, but I just really need to, to use these bad boys up. I've literally been sitting here for like two hours doing work, three hours. Time to take a break and stretch. First of all, these leggings that I'm wearing, in case you guys are curious, they're from Shopo. They have little bows on them and they're so freaking adorable. I like to use stretching as a way to like break up being on the computer and just kind of get back into my body. I'm about to enter a big, crazy, like a little bit of a grind before the new year. Basically my goal is to be 
totally ahead of schedule that I'm never scrambling to get a video up. Like, and like trying to incorporate my personal life into my business life and vlog and things like that. There's just been so many shifts and changes. I have a videographer that's now going to be helping me film, helping me shoot content and helping me edit it together, which is going to be super huge. I'm so excited because it's just gonna open me up to be able to get so much more work done, open up my time to have more personal time to get more of like my own personal goals and stuff. I guess in a way I feel like I've been more intuitively following my body and just seeing what it wants to do and seeing like if I drink more water, if I sleep a little longer, like how does it make me feel? And, I, and so Fitness Fridays, now that you're watching this, are going to be something that I wanna do on a more weekly basis. Like the more healthy lifestyle side and then Wednesday would be like the more personal life kind of vlog. Friends, my family, like events, traveling, things like that. That's my goal anyway. I'm gonna move close to you for this part. When I was reading Girl, Wash Your Face, one of the things that she admits to, and it was the first time I had ever heard it put this way, and I've never resonated with something so much in my life, but there's a whole chapter where she talks about being a bit of a workaholic. She doesn't know how to turn off, and that was a really big thing for me, and so I ended up bringing it up to my counselor. It's been a big focus of mine because my job and my life are so so infused and I love it. Taking off my work hat and putting on just like my chill toque, you know, my ability to just not always feel like I need to be doing something. That's a huge thing that I really want to show that balance on my channel and I really want to show that balance with vlogging and that's why I want Fitness Fridays to be all about like the wholesome health, wellness, mental health even. Like with just like not wearing makeup today, giving my skin a break. I ended up taking a little nap because like I mentioned earlier in this vlog, the last couple of nights I haven't been sleeping because I've just been so excited about all the stuff I want to create. Doing it this way, easing back into all of this has made it so that living a healthy lifestyle or starting a healthy lifestyle is so much more attainable and so much easier. It's been a learning process, but the balance is finally coming and I feel like that was such a theme for me this year. You know, 2018 was all about, I talked about balance a lot and sometimes you have to choose what makes you healthy, sometimes you have to choose what makes you happy, but no one can ever tell you what that answer is aside from your gut and your intuition. So the more you trust your gut, the more you follow it, the more it'll continue to guide you and make it easier for you to listen to it, you know? I still haven't mastered the whole stretching and talking at the same time as you can see. So I'm gonna finish out this little stretch and then I'll catch back up with you and wind down this video. this Friday, I figured I would just kind of round up my top tips when it comes to starting a healthy lifestyle. I tend to do this thing where, and it kind of happened to me throughout the year, where I go really hard and I like crush it out and then I burn it. It's been different because I feel like I'm taking it a bit differently, I'm going at it a bit differently and it's making me feel like my whole life is kind of slowly changing, like my whole lifestyle is changing to fit around the health and fitness that I'm basically striving for rather than me feeling like I'm just like trying to push for this crazy like week or two and then I drop off because you know it's just not sustainable. So tip number one would be to picture exactly the life that you want and that comes from not even just when you're trying to start out a healthy lifestyle this is just in general I feel like you have to have a pretty good idea at least of the direction you're heading in and the only way you can do that is to ask yourself like what does your dream life look like? Are you a runner? Are you a biker? Do you go to spin classes? Like picture exactly the kind of healthy lifestyle that fits into your dream life. That also keeps it realistic. And once you've pictured it, it makes it so much easier to know what direction you need to head in. So then my second tip would be to act as if that's already been promised to you. So when you picture yourself at your absolute healthiest, you know, your ripped abs, or maybe you're performing your best runs, or maybe your yoga has completely enhanced in terms of your flexibility or your ability to pull certain moves. Maybe your skin is glowing, maybe your eyes are super bright, maybe your hair is super long and healthy and luscious. Like, however you picture you at your healthiest, once you open your eyes, act as if that version of you is already waiting and you just need to basically take all the steps to get there. In a way, act as if this person is already you and start doing the things that that version of you would do if they were picked up 
from the future and plopped back down exactly where you are. My third tip is to start small. Don't look at changing your healthy lifestyle as like this huge daunting task. You know what, today I'm setting an intention to go for a walk or today I'm setting an intention to go get healthy groceries, clear all the junk out of my fridge and just take one step closer to being that healthy version of me that I picture in my head. Rather than basically expecting completely transform overnight, then it makes things a little bit more realistic and also too starting small makes it so that you know there's a lot more fun milestones to kind of celebrate with yourself so yeah start small and then last but not least and this is the other one that I'm really not good at uh, patient the future version of you that's already living said dream life and is the healthiest as can be has been picked up and plopped back down into exactly where you are right now we aren't necessarily sure how long the time between you here and you there is going to be but I can tell you that the person that has control over condensing that time is you. With patience and starting small, you won't fall off and have to start over all over again. Just be patient with whatever amount of time it's gonna take you to get there and know that it's already yours and it'll make the whole living out the uncomfortable in between of starting out and actually becoming an expert at being your healthiest self just so much more easy and so much more just enjoyable. Anyway, I feel like I've been jabbering at tons in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Fitness Friday. So, <laughs> adios.